Scrow Lads, welcome to a new episode of True or False on Scrow TV. I'm Jessica Fortune. Yes, this is totally different from the normal setting, and that's because we at Scrow TV are practicing social distancing. In line with the recommendations of the World Health Organization, we at Scrow TV are doing our part to help in the curb and containment of the coronavirus. So I do hope that you're doing your part as well, and of course, you can always trust that we at Scroll TV will only give you news that is verified and true. Now let's go straight into the news for today. First up, chloroquine is a cure for the coronavirus. True or false? As much as I would like to say true to this news, guys, unfortunately, this news is totally false. As of today, there is no treatment or cure for the coronavirus. In fact, there is no vaccine. So guys, wash your hands. Practice social distancing, take your vitamins to boost your immune systems, but please do not take chloroquine as a cure for the virus. Tokyo 2020 Olympics has been postponed to 2021. True or false? This is very true, guys. After weeks of uncertainty, the International Olympics community have decided to postpone the Olympics to 2021. This, of course, is as a result of the coronavirus. Everybody is really trying to make sure we cop this. So guys, do your part. And of course, please, let's keep getting ready because it's going to be Tokyo 2021. Moving on, Libya frees over 450 prisoners. True or false? This news is true. Libya's Justice Ministry announced that over 450 prisoners are being freed in a bid to protect against the spread of the coronavirus. I guess that's some good thing, right? Yeah, we're hoping this is good. So well done to Libya. Next, South Africa's president announces start of mass testing. True or false? This is totally true, guys. On Monday, the 30th of March 2020, the president announced on Monday, the 30th of March 2020, that 10,000 field workers would be visiting homes to screen people and those found with the symptoms would be quarantined in their homes or in hospitals. On to the next news. Pregnant girls do not attend schools in Sierra Leone. True or false? This news is totally false. The government of Sierra Leone has overturned a ban on pregnant girls from attending schools. The Ministry of Education said it is committed to ensuring all children have the right to go to school regardless of their status. This is some good news. Well done, Sierra Leone. Last, Nigerian senators donate 50% of their salaries to the COVID fight. True or false? This is true, guys. I guess we can say well done to our politicians for this. That's it. For today on True or False on Scroll TV. Till next week, don't forget to wash your hands, stay safe, practice social distancing, and you know what? This will be over soon. Bye.